There's a film called Three Kings, and it's uh, about the first Gulf War, that is the uh, American uh, war in Iraq, <clears throat> to get Iraq out of Kuwait. And in that film is a, a scene um, in which Mark Wahlberg, the character played by Mark Wahlberg, is about to be interrogated by a rather nasty um, interrogator. And the interrogator asks him if he knows Michael Jackson and asks him what is wrong with Michael Jackson. And of course, Wahlberg gets all uh, everything. But the point the guy is making, he's saying, what kind of society is it that you live in that will make a black man screw up his face, you know, bleach himself, try to turn himself white? And I don't know what it is. It, it's such a the film wasn't about that, but it, the fact that it was in the film, it really stuck. Uh, I don't know how many people noticed that, but it was in there. And that thought about, you know, what is it that society does to us to make us want to do different things, change ourselves? For example, um, I know that my mother never permed her hair. She didn't do anything to straighten her hair. She did have wigs, uh, when we were in England, I believe. But generally speaking, no, she wouldn't do anything with her hair. And when we went to Nigeria, women were, I mean, if it was a sign of some kind of sophistication to have poured chemicals on your hair and straightened them. Um, when my daughter was young, there were children who would laugh at her because they would say she had bush bush hair. Um, there was this idea that she, they, should, we would put, should put stuff, straighten her hair, and she'd be okay. But her hair is her hair. Why would you want to do something as crazy as that? There was skin bleaching. That was a very big thing. I think it still is a big thing. Uh, Fela Kuti made this incredible song. I mean, most of his songs are really good, but there's one called Yellow Fever, which is really about this bleaching. And that brings us now to today here in Amsterdam. It's not hair straightening or bleaching that I see. About two years ago, I suddenly started noticing people's lips or a particular kind of lip. And I suppose these are fillers or I don't know what you call it. And then I realized I'd see one here and I wouldn't think too much. I'd see another and another and another. And then I suddenly realized that there's a whole generation that is under pressure to screw up their bodies. And I, this is my opinion. You, If you like it, please go ahead. But under pressure in such a way that you want to mess with your body. You have this body. It's what it is. Enjoy it. Uh, be happy with it. But no, we can't be happy with it. And the pressure is so great. And there's this massive commercial pressure. No, you have to look like this. You have to look like that. You have uh, crazy influencers telling people to spend all this money and fiddle with their faces. You have this massive industry. Um, there are certain streets where I suddenly see these things like injectables and this and that and all these funny words for tampering with your body to make ourselves more beautiful. But it's especially the lips that look completely insane because I think that whenever you fiddle with your f face, it is visible. I mean, if, if you're very careful, I suppose you won't notice. But suddenly, you know, slapping these two sausages in front of your mouth, people will notice. Uh, and it's like, why, why would, is it really necessary? I don't know if, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I see it. I see it. It seems so normal. Um, I've seen, you know, is it that you, if you inject here, you get a funny frown? And I actually think we're crazy. I mean, I think humanity has, has, has lost the plot as far as that is concerned. Save the money and just go on holiday and do something else. But no, we are chasing the impossible. It's as if we don't want to age. We don't want to um, die. Uh, where I tell stories uh, connected to this lip thing, because I feel the lip thing is this sense of I'm not beautiful enough, therefore I need to fiddle with my body. Um, there's connected to that is this terror of getting old and there was a young lady who told a story and it was so sad to hear 
that she has panic attacks if she looks at the hands of uh, somebody who's the age of her mother. And, you know, you have those, I think they're called liver spots or whatever, that you can get on the hand. She saw that and was telling a story about how this freaks out. I thought, man, you're really in trouble because you have the rest of your life to live. What happens when wrinkles appear on your face? What will you do? But I don't know. It just it just struck me as these lips. Um, and it's not just lips. The lips are, I think, the easy ones. You see... Uh, I once saw <laughs> in profile somebody crossing in front of me and I just say, hey, wait a second, what's going on here? And they had had, uh, I believe it's the, is it the BBL, the Brazilian butt lift and enormous breasts in a way that just became a caricature. I don't know who this, who this is for. It's, I, I'm not in the business, so I don't know the reason for that. But I do see some weird stuff going on. And... Maybe that's a sign of civilization, who knows, or progress, but it, it's just weird. I will just say it's weird. I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying it's weird. And the lips I've been seeing recently, I, yeah, that's why I laugh, because they don't always look good. In fact, they rarely look good. They look fair. This is personal opinion, of course, but they do look peculiar, to say the very least. So, yeah, if you're into lips, you're into lips.